here with coming at you with another week of the Aftershocks Jerry Jones experience. Uh, last last stream we went ahead and won our first game of the season. We are one and zero, beating the Buffalo Bills forty one to twenty three. Um, great way to start. Great way to start the season, but. But we gotta just keep going. We gotta keep improving. So um, this one, I'll actually get to do a little bit of the intro stuff with you guys there. Start off by viewing these weekly awards and seeing that our boy Philip Hampton got Defensive Player of the Week in the AFC. He had 13 tackles, one interception, and four forced fumbles. So that's exactly what you want to see coming out the gate. So let's get so let's get it started here real quick. We are going to get the train real quick. Get those in there. Alright, so let's come in off the line. Maybe off the line is running back. Hold up. And then we're not going to do the as well. We are going to do power run. And then I guess. Yeah, that works. So let's go ahead and simulate this train. Let's see what we get. Curious to see what these two are gonna be. I'm really hoping they're good. Ooh. And as I say that, we get up to upgrade a player. Frank Ginda. I have no idea who this guy is. But let's give him a big old boost. Alright. So with nothing else left to do. Let me check who's on my trading block here real quick. I believe I have two guys. So I should have... Yeah, so I have Gesicki on the block. And I think it's Alex Okafor who's also on the block. Yep. So let's see if I can get something for Mr. Okafor. Could use a quarterback, but do I really want to trade for Tyree Jackson? No. Let's check what receivers are out there. Cole Beasley, Hardman, Team Butler. Let's take a look. Right tackles, it's going to be Chuma and Doga. But maybe there's another jet out there. Yeah, I could go turned in, but I mean I'm trying to get steam points here. Let's see what else, see what else we got. There really isn't a whole lot on the trade block. Okay, you No. Yeah, there's really no one. I would want from the New York Jets. I don't even know if we're going to offer if we go But we jumped in overall. It used to be 68 on offense, it used to be 68 overall, now we're 69 69, and I think that's due in large part to the last episode. Our left guard and our right tackle both 
getting the getting the level up and getting that one overall improvement. But let's just hop. Let's see, hop right into the game. And see what we, let's see what happens. I'd be really I'd be glad to see us go 2 0. But if we lost a bunch of games this year, could be we could do worse. Yeah, it's gonna be tough what, stopping. So we don't go. Jamal Adams is a beast, but I mean, we have Phil Hampton, so I think we're good. It looks like we're kicking off. So let's get it going. Kick is up and is away. As we start game two of the season, and we are going to stop him before he gets to the 25. Solid special teams play right there. Never need to see that. Never need to see that. So here's the first play of the game. Three wide receiver set. Looks like we are going to be in a man to man coverage. Oh, Donald with a deep ball with no one. I mean, granted, there was a there was an intended um, it's an intended target, but still, it wasn't good. Second down, second down. They have, a, they have three wide receivers up top. The four wide receiver set is going to be a handoff to Le'Veon Bell, who's going to be met for met and tackled by uh, Stacy. Setting up a third and six. That is Bodie Calhoun from Ring with the tackle. Third and six. Donald back to third. He's got time. He's going to find. He's going to find. Ooh! He's going to find a target, but there's going to be a fumble. And the aftershock pick it up. And they are going to start with beautiful position on this first drive at the 34 yard line. Might have been Philip Hampton coming in with the fumble. First play from the offense is going to be a handoff to Deron Carrington for a six yard gain, setting up second and four. Let's keep this up. Play action pass. I believe we're starting Ryan Tannehill. Yes, we are. Yeah, I brought that. 38, 40, something like that. So I put in Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill went 8 of 10 in that game, so he earned himself a starting spot to go at least the his game. As we get a handoff to Jalen Rashard, who is going to lose four yards, running right into Josiah Polite. Alright, we got the guy in motion. We go. The give is... I believe that's Carrington for the touchdown! That's what I like to see. Capping off with an eight yard score from Carrington. And we are up six nothing away from this point after this should go in. We should be up seven nothing less than three minutes into the game. And there we go. Alright, let's let's try to replicate what just happened. Let's try to replicate what happened on this drive. Oh nope. He's breaking he's breaking away. That is a huge return. Getting them to the 40. I honestly thought that was gonna be a tackle. And I thought we were gonna see the exact same thing again. But as it stands. Oh and as I was gonna say they're gonna start on our side of the field. A hurt. We go first, 15 for 46. Single, 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 single. Okay. Donald back there. He's got time. And he's going to throw the ball away. Felt the pressure. He felt the pressure and threw it away, setting up a second and 15 at the 46 yard line. Donald's back to throw. He's going to find no one. It is going to be deflected by two of them. 
two Aftershock defenders setting up a third and 15. Here we go, Donald's back to throw. Le'Veon Bell went out for the, for the pass. And Donald's going to be just short on that throw. And that was to Quincy Anua for a 13 yard game. That is going to not be enough, setting up a fourth down. They're going to bring on the field goal unit. This is going to be a 60 something, something yard field goal. I mean, it's going to be good. Oh, he missed it. That had the distance, but it must have been wide left. But as it stands, our aftershock to the ball at the 48. As Tannehill is back to throw, and he's going to get sacked. That is Leonard Williams coming in and providing the pressure, abusing that right side. Our youthful right side right, right there. As we go, we have second and 17. Tannehill finds his target, but is going to... It looks like it's a... It was a five-yard gain to Gesicki, setting up third and 12. Yep. Here we go, Tannehill back to throw again. He's got time. He will miss any target that could have been that could have been open, setting up a fourth down. We're going to bring on Matt Hawk to punt this ball and get us. Oh, he shanks it. Oh man, this is, we had such a great drive the first drive, and then simple mistakes cost us. Oh, another fumble! Damn, Phil Hampton is a beast! But, what are the odds of a fumble flying forward 15 yards and you getting enough and you getting the first out of it? Not very realistic, as the screen pass is going to be thrown to Robbie Anderson for the three yard game, setting up the second and seven for 43. That is just unlucky. Oh, oh another deflected pass, almost picked off, setting up the third and seven at the 43. Now, if they don't convert here, are we going to see the field goal unit come back on the field? I guess we don't have to worry about that because the pass is complete, getting them well within field goal range. As Philip Hampton lays out, ladies and Bell, setting up a fourth and one at the 35. Yes, 35 yards, 35, 36. Let me get the kick it up. And this time it's got the leg and it's got the accuracy and it is good. So our aftershock are at 7 to 3, setting up for their third drive. First and ten. Watch the out, watch the out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. Be grimmer, be grimmer. First down at the 44. Kasiki with his second catch on the goal for 24 yards. Play action, Tannehill. Back to throw, has the time, finds his target, and that is going to be Kasiki again. The third catch of the day, getting him up to 42 yards as an 18-yard reception. Oh, the hit doesn't stand. We are. First at the 20, not right, right, fake, kind of an audio that just failed, but it's okay. Second and 10 here, Tannehill back to throw, he's going to find his target, I believe that was... Demarius Thomas or is it Philip Dorsett? No, Philip Dorsett with his third catch from the day for 38 yards, setting up a third and eight. 
Oh, and Tannehill's... Oh! I'll take it. I will take it. They are going to give him the catch, and the Quan Treadwell is going to come in and grab the fumble off of that. Demarius Thomas, 28-yard. Of that 20-yard gain, setting up a first and goal at the four. That is going to be... Oh, read it. No! No! That he is holding his knee. That is never a good sign. Never. And that and that's our boy. This is our starting running back as we got second and goal at the seven yard line. This is not looking too well too good for us right now as we get an incomplete pass. That he took a shot. Coming across the middle right there. Looks like we might be settling for a field goal here. As we got third and seven. With five minutes left in the first, Tannehill is... Oh, there's a flag on the play as that ball goes incomplete. As we get a pass interference call on the defense. That's going to be first and goal at the one. And a brand new... Oh, we're getting those extra few plays to try to get our second touchdown of the game. That's going to be a pitch play to Jalen Rashad. And he's going to break tackles for the touchdown. Second rushing touchdown for our team for the game, and we are up 13 to three. And we're waiting the point after. We have a little bit on. We are just under five minutes left here in the first quarter, and you're seeing the Eagles shock after shock are up 14 to three on the New York Jets. Breaking tackles here. They're, New York Jets take that kickoff return. They're going to start the drive. Their drive at the 26 yard line. We don't need to see any of the. We don't need to see a bunch of highlights and photos. Let's just get back into the action here. Four minutes, 50 seconds left. Starting the, their drive at the 26 yard line. The Jets. Ooh, and that pass is going to be complete to a crossing. Wide receiver, and that is going to be. Let's see. Oh, that is going to be Jamison Crowder. I'm really bad with names. If you're not a Packer, I mean, you're, I'm really bad with names. So, but we've got Darnold going back to throw. He's going to find his target down for a nice little gain there, setting up second and four at the. 48-yard line. That was Quincy Anua right there on the grab. Darnold back to throw. He's got time. He's going to find his target, and he's going to be met for a one-yard, only for a one-yard gain. And that pass was to Eric Ebron. Philip Hampton on the tackle. Oof. Darnold finds another target for the first down. I believe that is Robbie Anderson. Yes, it is. Only reason why I know that is because Robbie Anderson disappointed me in fantasy last season. So it is what it is. We got a first and 10 at the 39 yard line. Donald, empty backfield all day to throw. He's going to find his target, but it's going to be a fumble. That's the second forced fumble of the game for Philip Hampton. Jay Mills is going to pick that up, take it all the way to the 40. To the shock 45 yard line setting up a first down with two minutes 14 seconds left in the first oh man that was a shot as we get a pat we get a completed pass in the middle of the field for the first down i believe i believe that was um set on the catch might have been Demarius Thomas so we get second and two Tannehill back to throw incomplete pass as that was intended for Philip Dorsett but Philip Dorsett gets rocked as we got a third and two Tannehill back to throw he's got some time and he's gonna get picked off no no that is Leonard Williams he's gonna take it all the way to the house for the score and cut this depth and cut their deficit to three to nine. They're gonna go from three to nine to ten, and they're gonna be down four. 
with a minute and 25 left in the first quarter. Alright, and we're going to take the touch back and start this drive on the 25. Here we go, first and 10, 25 rod line. We got the bunch set right there at the bottom of your screen. That is going to be a handoff, and that's going to be the Jalen Rashard again. Harrington getting hurt in the red zone. And we haven't seen him since. It hasn't been very very long since we've seen him. But hopefully, hopefully he comes back. Hopefully he's not hurt. So as we get an incomplete pass, setting up a third and nine at the 26, at the 26 yard line. Tannehill running around, running around, finds his target, gets some yards, gets to the 48 yard line. That is a great catch and run by Philip Laquan Treadwell. Oh man, I'm getting my numbers mixed up. So we've got a first and 10, 12 seconds left. This might be the last play of the quarter. Seven. Six gets it off just in time, and the pass is going to be incomplete. So we're actually going to get one more play before the end before the end of this quarter. Second and ten at the 48 yard line. There we go. Tannehill back to throw. He's got time. Finds his target, and is going to get a first down. That's what you like to see at the end of one. After shocker up, 14 to 10. Second quarter. Oh, we've got a run. As Jalen Richard getting a nice 11. Oh, no, it's Boston Scott getting some love. 11 yard gain on that carry, setting up a first and 10 at the 26 yard line. I'm really hoping that Carrington isn't out for. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Get a nice five yards on second. Oh, and he'll back throw. It comes streaking, but he gets time. And it is a catch by Laquan Treadwell setting up the first down at the nine yard line. Let's see if this Aftershock team can score. It's going to be a bubble pass, a bubble screen. And it's going to be. For no gain to Demarius Thomas. So he's got second down here at the nine yard line. See if we can get a score on this play. The play action, but he's going to get rocked and met at the 19 yard line. Brandon Poole with the sack. You know, I wish I wish my team blitzed a little more. I might have to. I might have to go and see if I can update a defensive playbook because we get a touchdown. Our first passing touchdown of the game. That pass was to Nick Vanette for the score. Said nice little 19 yard 19 yard dump off to Vanette for the score. With this point after we will be up 21 to 10. Just just a little bit into the second quarter. We got this. All right, let's see if the defense can. Maintain this momentum we've got going on here. Arnold oh, back to throw. Finds his target for the first. Yeah, I believe that was Robbie Anderson. But they're going. I don't know if they're going with a no huddle or if they just jumped real quick. But Donald's got time to throw. He's going to find his target. And there's going to be another fumble. That is the third forced fumble of the half by Philip Hampton. This kid is something special. And we picked up, and we picked it up. So we are starting this drive at the 42-yard line. Tannehill back to throw. He's got time. You know he does not. He's going to get rocked by Leonard Williams. Leonard sent second sack of the game. 
And it is going to be a second and 16 at this 48 yard line. This is something else. That is for sure. I formation. We might see a handoff right here on second, second and long, but I don't know. Play action pass. Tannehill's got some time. Finds a target for the first. Oh, for example, this fumble. And the defense picks it up. No. CJ Mosley coming in with the fumble recovery. Oh, no. No. That was a nice catch and then just not what you want to see at the end of that. Oh, and we get the handoff to Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell, that might be his best run of the game so far. Three, three carries. Sets up a second and two. No play action pass. Donald all day to throw. We've got a guy running and he's going to get sacked. There we go. Alex Okafor coming through with the sack. Sets up a third and 16 at the 30 yard line. There's a 14 yard loss right there on their fourth. And Donald, who immediately gets a first down throw to Robbie Anderson. He's hurt. Holding that, holding that boot and taking it a little too much. Um, Winston, for 540 yards? Ooh, that is brutal. Did you end up coming back to win and winning? Because. It was pretty close when I when I when I started watching. Um, and no, we're doing good. Uh, Philip Hampton has forced three fumbles already, and we're, and we're barely we're not even halfway through the uh, second quarter. Um, I don't think they fixed that enfor I don't think they fixed the enforcer issue. Um, definitely haven't fixed the enforcer issue. Um, We've got two rushing touchdowns and a passing touchdown go, by Tannehill. Um, the Jets got their touchdown off of Leonard Williams' pick six. And uh, they kicked the field, and then they kicked the field goal at some point. Um, Le'Veon Bell hasn't really done a whole lot. Oh, man. Hey, you can just blame that on Haskins. If you want to get rid of him, I'll I'll, uh, I'll trade you Alex Okafor. He just got a sack on Donald last drive. If you want to, as we get a nice sack there by Barnett coming through. That is our second sack of the game, and it's nice to see the sack after we don't we didn't get any against Buffalo. And Buffalo had 12 or 13 on us the last game so it is nice to see our defensive line coming through and applying that pressure like only gets back to throw and that is going to be a completed pass i think that's the, i think that's eric ebron right there with the, with the catch setting up a first and first oh a fourth and inches set bringing in on the field goal unit i thought he got enough for the first down Ooh, but i'll take it i mean if they don't want to go for it i will take them settling for three points right here Giving us still an eight point lead, 21 to 13. With six, with essentially six left. Yeah, I don't, but again, I don't think they fixed the Forcer issue. Because, like I said, Philip Hampton has come through and gotten three forced fumbles already in this game. But I mean, you saw Ryan Tannehill's stats there. He's 13. Of 20 for 194 yards, a touchdown and an interception. And I mean, I'll take throws like that every now and then because for every throw like that, he gets two or three that are good, that are good on the drive. And it's nice to see Carrington back out. He was actually out for a while. Uh, he uh, was holding his knee, so I didn't think we were going to get him back for the rest of the game. But it's nice to see him come back out here. Um, we got third and six. Tannehill. Ooh! Treadwell getting rocked. That's it, baby! Sets up a fourth down punt unit's gonna come on the field. Only the second punt of the game for our aftershock. And that is a beautiful punt. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Check 
Here we go. First and 10 at the 20. Donald's going to hand it off to Le'Veon Bell. He's going to find a hole or run into the wrong person. He's only going to get a one yard gain to make up a second and nine at the New York 21. A couple of wide receivers down there. Donald's back to throw. He's going to find his target. Oh! But Eric Ebron's not going to hold on to it. Setting up a third and nine on that incomplete pass. Here we go. Three. It looks like a three wide receiver set. Maybe on Bell going out there in motion. Oh, he's going to get a huge 21 yard gain. Setting up a first and 10 at the 42 yard line. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Oh, false start. That's what you like to see. False start offense. Yeah, there's a lot of false starts. There's a lot of false, false starts. I think that's like the third or fourth that I've that I've seen this game. Which I mean, I guess is kind of normal, but still. You got Donald going back to throw, finding his target on the on the sidelines for a nine-yard gain, setting up a second and one. I believe that was Quincy Anua. Again, four catches, 42 yards on the day. Ooh, the keeper by Darnold, getting just enough of the first down. Oh, I lied again. No, that is a third and, setting up third and inches. He's gonna be hanging up to Le'Veon. And Le'Veon's gonna get the first. Oh, but he's gonna fumble it, Philip Hampton. Oh, and that's gonna be returned. 30, breaking the tackle, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Woo-hoo! Woo! Oh, man, that was beautiful. And you get Kevin King with his second defensive touchdown on the season. It is a fumble recovery for the score, setting up a field goal that is going to be good it is 28 13 with two minutes and 24 seconds left at in the half I'm liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing from my team I don't know it feels like all you need is an enforcer as for a linebacker and you're pretty much set we got a first and 10 here at the 25. Play action pass. Darnold's going to find Quincy Anua coming down through the, coming down the middle. Going through, getting a nice 13 yard game. Setting up a first down. And we reached the two minute warning. Here we go. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. Donald's got time back to throw. He's going to find his running back out there on the flat as Kevin King comes out of nowhere to make the tackle, setting up a third, a second and three. But I think we might get a neutral zone infraction. No, we're getting a false start on the offense. Then going to take that. Sets up a set. What Terrence what would have been a second and three. Makes it a second and eight at the 40 yard line. Two, two back. It's a two back backfield. He's going to find his target for the first down. That is a completed two. I have no idea. I don't know why I left. I don't know what happened there. But. Here we go, first and ten. Donald back to throw, finding for the first down. That is his second catch and back-to-back -back play. And that was a completion to Johnston. Third catch on the day. I have no idea who Johnston is. He might have been a rookie. He might be a rookie. Is Donald's gonna get sacked? That is Jonathan Martin coming through. The rookie, our first-round pick, coming through, getting the sack. Oh, here we go. Darnold screen pass to Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell's going to find an opening. He's going. He has gotten 21 yards. And the first down. No. Philip Hampton missed. Philip Hampton missed, and that's exactly what happened there. 
as we get a handoff to the backup bringing back into 23 and 23 is going to get 11 yards and a first go, down go, they've go. got 50 seconds left and a timeout left try to try and score first and they've got a whole a whole set of downs to try to get it we got donald back to throw he's got time he's going to get sacked by phil hedgen coming through in the clutch first sack of the day fourth for our team is what we love to see setting up second and 17 essentially donald's back to throw he's got time he's got time just shuffling his feet throwing it to a target that is out of bounds setting up a third and 17 i think at this point you might want to just cut your losses run the ball in the middle and use your time out to you know, preserve whatever you can 17 seconds left they're going to call a timeout with 16 seconds left in the quarter probably bring out the kicking unit to try to get this last score here for just before the half Pick is up and it is it is good so it looks like at half we're going to go in with the lead 28 to 16 here we go all right this ball this ball has to be returned 30 guard line that's what you like to see here we go we'll probably get a run play just to end the quarter one wide receiver. Yep, that is going to be a handoff. And Jalen Rashard's going to get to the 40. But they're going to call a timeout. Does this mean we're going to... They're going to call a timeout just to in order to get another running play off just before the half. Oh, no. It's going to be a screen and a first down. That is going to be a two-yard gain. And that is going to lead us to halftime with the score being your aftershock ahead of the Jets 28 to 16 we are not doing well offensively when it comes to getting these yards but our defense is stepping up in so many ways and making sure that we stay ahead and get great field position and I believe yep we start the ball to get the second half I'm going to step away for just a minute enjoy this little bit of action while I am gone
Mike on site. You don't want this. Alright, I am back. Sorry about that. But here we go. Oh, apparently the, the, our last draft didn't end too well. We've got a first and ten. Maybe on Bell. Coming, breaking, breaking the tackle. And the fumble! Woo! Another fumble. That's Ken King's second fumble recovery. Maybe on Bell's third fumble of the game. I am loving this. I hope they never fix the enforcer. Because Philip Hampton keeps getting them fumble recovery them fumble we go first and ten Tannehill hands the ball off to to Jalen Richard who's got six carries 17 yards and a touchdown setting up a second and three on that seven off of that seven yard run five wide receiver set Tannehill overthrows everyone setting up a third and three I guess technically we're in field goal range I mean McManus hit that Beautiful 61 yard field goal last game, and, but that's going to be Leonard Williams coming in with his third sack of the game. Got to see Manis come through and try to kick his field goal. I don't, think he'll, I don't think he'll make it, but we'll see. And nope, he's going to be just short. Just short. That's in if we don't get if we don't get sacked. There we go. Hand off is to on Bell. He's going to break a couple tackles, get a six yard gain, setting up eight second and four at the 32 yard line. I am not liking how my team's playing to start this half. Donald back to play. He's got all the time in the world. And his receiver is wide open. And he gets stopped at the four. Not what you want to see at all. Darnold coming through with us, and we got another sack. That's going to be Anderson coming through. That is our fifth sack of the game. As the team, I'm liking it. I am liking this so far. We got second and goal at the 11. Darnold's got time to throw. He's going, and he's going to find Logan Bell. He's got some space, but is going to get tackled at the five. That's going to be a six-yard gain. Darnold just throwing all over us. But has no passing touchdowns to show for it. As we've got a third and goal. They have kicked three field goals in the defensive touchdown. So the offense is moving, but not doing just not doing quite enough to get the score. But Donald's just gonna throw the ball away, setting up a fourth and goal. The five again. We'll probably see this field goal unit come out. Bring the lead back down to nine. Yep. Down to nine, but that's that's two scores. So we are okay for right now. 
Let's see what happens on this next drive as we get the field, as we get the kickoff. It has to be returned. And we get to the 26 yard line. I'll take it. I will take it. Let's go, D. Big series right here. Let's go. Ready? Stick the oar. Yeah. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. At the 30 yard line. Go. Oh no. That's going to be another sack. That's going to be Shepard coming in before the sack. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Tannehill got time. Third and 14. Oh, a bunch of tip passes is going to be fall harmlessly to the ground. And we are going to see the punt team come out. This is not what you want to see at all. Taking that. Here we go. Second and nine at the 21 yard line. Let's see if our team can come through. I apologize if my mic keeps coming in and out. Ooh, that is well Hampton with the huge tackle there. Making that an incomplete pass. Setting up a third and nine. Donald's got time though, and he's going to find his target. Who, and then inexplicably, going to have a guy number 54 who's just going to be like I don't want to play defense let let's let Mundy get the first down baloney baloney if we get a handoff to Mundy he's going to get another first down for the Jets as a 13 yard game oh man all right Philip Hampton time time for you to force another fumble There we go. Nice tackle there by Martin, setting up a second and nine. At the 45 yard line. Donald empty back up all the time in the world to throw, and he's going to find his target for the catch and a first down. This, I guess my defense, you know, just gives up a bunch of field goals, not gonna give up a touchdown, hopefully. Le'Veon Bells gets, gets into the secondary. Four feet, eight yard gains, and I guess a second down and two at the 34 yard line. Kevin King down there with the stop. It's going to be a hand up to Ooh, Mundy, but he's going to get rocked. As Noah Spence comes in with the tackle, setting up a third and five. All right, Donald, Donald's back to throw. He's going to find Mundy going up to the first. Getting the first, going up to the 20 yard line. Darnold, 365 yards, but no touchdown. It's all part of my my bend don't break defense. Hey, those pa and those Patriots teams back in the 2000s, when they would win, they'd give up a bunch of yards, and, but they wouldn't give up too many touchdowns. There we go. Second and four at the 15. Ooh, nice pass deflection there. Sets up a third and four at the 15 yard line. We'll see if they can convert here or if they have to bring the kicking team up yet again. Donald, Donald's gonna find his target who's gonna get tackled just outside the end zone at the three yard line. Same Donald looking, coming out here looking like a all pro quarterback. Here we go, first and ten at the three. Le'Veon Bell. My guys are gonna run into each other, and Le'Veon Bell's gonna get the touchdown. And if they get this, if they get the point after, they will be down by only two. 
only two, and this kick is up, and it is going to be good. Oh. All right, what we need now is my offense to come through and get a score. All right, here we go. Oh, you should have just taken the tackle. But as it stands, he's going to be a return to the 25-yard line. I guess that's an okay return. Not what you want, but it could have been worse. And here we go. We got a first and ten. Hand off is to the running back. I believe that is Carrington. No, that is Jalen Rashard on the carry. That is a nice return there. A nice return there. Sets up a first and ten for 42. I think that might be the best run he's had all year so far. But that is going to take us to the end of the third as the aftershock are up 28-26. With just the fourth quarter left to go. This is anyone's game, and we'll see what happens as we get Tannehill throwing it to... I have no idea who. I feel like I'm going to have, to, at this point, going to have to have a quarterback who plays quarters one through three, and then another quarterback that plays the fourth is... Tannehill's coming out here looking almost as bad as Osweiler did last week. There we go, Tannehill. Empty backfield. He's got time. He's going to find the target. He's going to get rocked. But not before he gets the first down. That is Gesicki with his fifth catch of the day. Here we go, first and ten. Let's see what happens. We've got... It's going to be a play action pass. Ta Ooh! Taking the shot. Making a receiver play making a receiver play corner. Never a good idea. Never a good time. But here we go. We got second and ten here at the 48. Tannehill back to throw. He's got he got nope. I was gonna say he's got some time, but he had to get rid of that. Or else Landon Williams is gonna come in and just straight Merco. Okay, but here we go. We've got third and ten at the 48 yard line. You gotta get some yards. Off the back foot, throwing it to I believe that was the running back, but I think he was just trying to get rid of it as Hawkins comes out for the punt. I believe this is only the third or fourth punt we are gonna have on the day, and that is going to come and go out of bounds at the It's gonna actually just be a touchback, because that is gonna be that is going to be a touchback. Gets sets the Jets up with a first and ten at the twenty. I mean Ooh. I mean if I had Sam Donald on this team, I think we I think we'd be doing a lot better than us than this after shock running Ryan Tannehill and Brock Osweiler as it's two quarterbacks as Donald gets the completion to the 31st Ireland and that's Johnston right there on the catch. Man. Here we go. Donald's got all the time to work the throw. He's going to find Baby on Bell who's going to get tackled for no gain. Puts up a second and 10 at the 31 yard line. We've got 12 minutes and 12 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It's still anybody's game. Donald is just trying to get rid of it. He had Martin coming up and trying to get the Sack his would have been, which would have been, I believe, his third of the game. Donald play action pass. He's got time. He's got defense. He's got blocking. He's going to overthrow everyone. But there's going to be a flag. It's going to be pass interference. I called it. I knew it. Unfortunately, I knew it. Moves the ball all the way to the 35 yard line. Ooh, and that's going to be Mundy coming through with the 13 yard catch. Sets up a second. Uh, first and goal at the 22 yard line. Not what you want to see. Not at all. We have Donald back to throw again. Finds Le'Veon Bell for the first. Gets six yards. Sets up a second and four. Man. This, it's like my defense got tired all of a sudden. As Mundy comes through with another tackle. I don't know if I've seen Philip Hampton on the field. Keep playing, Mike four, Mike four. 
Yeah, I don't know if I see. I don't think I see Philip Hampton. Ooh, that was a really bad throw. Okay, there we go. Philip Hampton's back on the field. I can breathe this side of relief. Let's play action pass. Donald's gonna find the target. Watch. Yep. Touchdown. And that nice lead that we had is no more. As with this point after they will be up 33 to 28 with 10 minutes left. <laughs> oh man, we gotta do something. We gotta figure out a way to get get back in this game. Our offense has not been good at all. Doesn't help when your quarterback goes 4 of 12 right here, right here. after going 13 of 26. Right, there we go. Ooh, and there's a flag. Is that going to be face mask? There we go. There we go. Gets us to half. Gets us to midfield. Because we've got just under 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Tannehill, he's got time. He's not. No, he does not. I lied to you again. That's the game. Push this back to the, the 43 yard line. That's a seven yard loss. We've got second and 17 coming up. Tannehill, play action pass. He's got the rollout. He's going to miss his target. I feel like I need to bring in Brock Osweiler now because Tannehill has been woefully inconsistent this game after going 8 of 10 last game. Tannehill back to throw. Oh man. Alright, after this punt, I'm going to bring in Brock Osweiler to try to see if he can come back and help us get this victory back let's go let's go let's go all right here we go Left. Donald back to throw. And he's gonna throw it to no one. Closest person on that coverage was Phil Hampton. Here we go. Second from 10 at the 20. Donald back to throw again. That's gonna be a screen pass to no one as Logan Bell isn't even in position to make that catch. We got a third and 10 at the 20. We've got it looks like a three wide receiver set with Logan Bell going out for the pass. There's going to be nice coverage there on third down, setting up a fourth down. Where is that defense the last couple drives? I'm telling you. We'd be sitting comfortable right now if we, if that de if our defense would have came through like that. Ooh. But as it stands, we've got 8 minutes and 50 seconds left in the game. I should say in the fourth quarter because if, if this goes into overtime. Here we go, empty back from the start, Tannehill is back, oh, but also I was back to throw, and throws it at, at his receiver's feet. Maybe I should have left Tannehill in, but Tannehill wasn't cutting it, so, there we go, oh, there we go, getting the first down, and then some is, Car is Carrington, 15 yards on the pass from Osweiler. That's up a first and ten at the 47. Empty backfield. That was Jalen Rashard, not Carrington. I apologize yet again. Also, I back to throw. Oh, man. Almost picked off. Almost caught. Both back to back. And we got a second and ten at the 47-yard line. That was going to be a delayed handoff. 
gonna get us just past the 50. Jalen Richard, eight carries for 38 yards and the touchdown. You would like to see Carrington get some of the love there, but Carrington might be hurt still as we get a fumble. Oh, that en that enforcer that enforcer feature coming back to bite us. Is that gonna be cool? Picking up the picking up the fumble off of the off of the tackle onto Gesicki. Hand off is Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell is gonna run right into Philip Hampton, and that is going to be a four-yard gain, setting up a second and six at the Jet 49. Another handoff, but he's going to be met in the backfield for a two-yard loss. That is Martin coming through with the tackle. His fourth of the game. Still anyone's game. Still anyone's game, but our defense needs to get the stop here. Otherwise, it's going to be tough to... Oof. And as I say that, can't even finish a thought because Johnston comes through with a catch and a first down. Oh man, Sam Darnold's looking really good against, against my defense, especially because he's got time. And that's going to be a tackle and a no gain on the throw. It's up a second and ten. But Darnold's got over 400. He's got 440 yards and a touchdown. So it is a great game by Darnold as that is almost picked off. Setting up third and ten. I mean, ideally you want to you would want to get force a turnover here, but I mean, if they're going to just let the Jets do what they want offensively, I mean, this is, gonna, this is not going to end well. We've only got four and a half minutes left in this game. I don't think we can come, I don't know if we're going to be able to come back. Donald's got all the time in the world. All the time. Oh, and as I say that, Cologne getting his first career sack. That is his first career sack. Our sixth as a team sets up a second and 18 at the 22 yard line. And that is going to be a handoff to Le'Veon Bell who's got nothing but space and he's going to get rocked at the 10. Sets up a third and manageable six yards. But we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we get the stop because we need to do something. And that's going to be going to a receiver out of bounds. Nice. So it's going to be fourth and six. It's going to bring the field goal unit on. They'll make it. It'll, it'll bring us to an eight. It'll make us. It'll bring this to an eight-point game. And technically, we're still in it. We're still in it, guys. All we need is one good drive in a two-point conversion. Ooh, our returner is hurt. Not what you want to see. Look at that yards disparity, 510 to 286. That is not what you want to see. Not good numbers at all. Osweiler throwing the dart over to his target for the three-yard game. That was the Mayor's Thomas for his fourth catch of the day. Ready, ready. Go Tannehill back to throw. Oh, Tannehill. Also back to throw. Hits his receiver and his receiver just can't ready. catch it. Demarius Thomas, what are you doing, buddy? Oh no, Jalen Richard, what are you doing? Here we go, third and seven. Okay, sack. That's Leonard Williams coming with his fifth sack of the day. Ready, ready. 50, this game is over. But we're going to go for it. Fourth and 14 at our 18 yard line. Not what you want to see. Play action. Oswald has got some time. Throwing the deep bomb. It's going to hit his receiver in the hands. He's not going to catch it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. This is game. That's game because they'll get the field goal off of this. Unless there's a turnover, they're going to get the field goal off of this and it's going to be game over. This time at number one. This is brutal. You're up. 
We were up by two scores, and yet we're finding a new and inventive way to lose the game. Although, that does save us a timeout if we can get the stop here on third down. Still, but... I mean, if they get the first, it's over. Oh, but he's going to get tackled. Timeout. We have a sh aftershock of one remaining. But, like I said, this is going to be a made field goal, and it's not even going to be anything to worry about because this, is, this will put them up 11 with a minute and a half left. Oh, the fake! The fake! Why? Oh, man. Breathing a new life into this game. Why would you go for it? A fake when you're up eight. Alright. Also, he's back before he's got time. He's going to find his target. And that is going to be a first down with the injury timeout. Taking our last timeout, Demarius Thomas. Oh, I don't. I must have actually just click, accidentally hit circle. Oh no, that is our last time out, but as it stands, we've got first and ten. We are still driving. This is still, somehow, still attainable. As that is going to be a six-yard gain. Ten, eleven-second runoff. We've got a minute left. And the gives going to be to Jamie Richard. He's going to get back to the line. No huddle, eight-second eight second runoff. We've got 51 seconds left. Off right. He's going to get sacked. He's going to be 11 yards, setting up a 4th and 16. Play action pass. Uh, also, he's got time. Going laser, and he's going to be picked off. That's the game. Final score is going to be 36 to 28. Jets over the aftershock. What you want to see. That is our 5th or 4th pick for the game. Our defense waves towards the, towards the end of the third, beginning of the fourth. And our offense garbage. But we are one and one on this one and one on this season. It's a tough break. But we are still a really young team, so I'm not I'm not surprised that we're gonna go through these ups and downs. But again, we do need to do something about that quarterback position. There is not a single option out there for us to use in order to improve that position. Best player on, on the trade block is Will Greer. And is not worth spending capital to acquire. So upgrade my guys real quick. Elijah Wilkinson. Moving to 69. And the rookie, John Cologne. Getting the overall boost to a 73. Man. Needs to get more plays. I mean, as long as you see some of the triggers that they're there. Let's see. I don't think Kenny Kane's in there. No, it is Carl Finley. Five weeks with a dislocated elbow. Ugh. Let's go ahead and advance to week three, get everything ready for our game against the Patriots. Oh, not again. No offers for my dudes. So let's just get through this real quick. Again, we're going to be going to the offense. And do gap play. Let's see through this real quick. Right. Ooh, someone is ready for an upgrade. Ooh, two guys. Let's get Floyd Campbell, our backup tackle, our rookie backup tackle. Let's get the wrong 
get some scouting in. Alright, there's a lot that we need here. Oof. There we go. Eight first round grades for my quarterbacks. Let's take a look at the second rounder guys here. Ooh, early fourth, not what you want to see. Alright, AJ Wood, let's see what you get out of. Late third from a late second round, oh, that's not too bad. Alright. Undrafted. Gotta add him to the board. Undrafted. Gotta still add him to the board. Now let's take a look at that left tackle. Mid first rounder. Alright. Last one, mid first round. Alright, there we go. Fully scattered a couple of guys. Looking at the top of the draft because I don't think we're gonna get very far. So, got a couple winners. I'm gonna, if I get a top five pick, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go quarterback. As much as I really don't want to, I'm going to have to. But I also really need a left tackle. So I might try to... I might need to figure out a way to trade up in the draft. To try to get two first rounders. Especially top picks. I don't know if it's going to be possible. But we'll have to see. Alright, so let's go ahead... Go ahead and try to see if we can get Alex Mack for another year. Alright. And then, do you really, do you want to offer the other thing? We might have to hold off on that. So we've got a number of guys that are looking for contract extensions. So that is going to do it for the stream. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, take it easy.